Well, when you think of a light box, you typically think of an image on a website and when you click on it, a bigger image pops up and you can view it on the entire screen. Well, boys and girls, if that is what you think a light box is, you better put on your leather shoes because we're in for a rough ride. I want to call this a light box on steroids. And I'm even nervous about doing this video because I just know I'm going to get it wrong. But let's go through it slowly and I'll show you why this light box is truly unique. I'm going to search for light box and then drag it in. Now, you have to, from the beginning, understand two things. There are two things here. One is layout and one is toggler. I'm going to start with the toggler. The toggler is what will be displayed on your site. And I'll make this easy so you from the beginning can get your head around what this does. Select Lightbox Toggler. So I'm going to choose a button. And then for the button, we can just say here, click here. And let's style it to the center. And uh, icon, we want to add an icon. Let's put in an arrow. What is this? I can't see. It looks like an arrow. Yeah. Icon spacing. Make it bigger. Let's make it look pretty. Background. Go change these colors. Standard elementary colors. Enough to drive me crazy. Topography. And let's choose something. Berkshire. No, come on. Don't be crazy. Let's go for Arial. Right. And then let's do the normal thing that I usually do. Put it on uppercase and then give a bit of a little spacing there. Okay, so we've done it. The button is done. What now? Go back to content and remember, this is the toggler. This is what will display on your site. Now we go to layout. This is a strange naming for it, layout. I would have called this light box because this is the light box. And what we want is you can choose an image, video, YouTube, Vimeo, or even a Google map. Let's just start with image and then click here and let's choose an image. Hmm. Shouldn't choose the hamburger. And then you can even add a caption here. Royal eat like the royals do. And where is all of this? Click here. That's what it says. And there you have a light box. Okay, so this is very simple in a way. But now let's go and show you where things become interesting. Let's go back and what happened to my click here button. Let's click here, go back to the toggler. Click here. Let me just update this site. Seems my button is a little bit crazy. Now, instead of a button, let's use an icon. And then Again, you can style it to your heart's content. You can leave play there. Goes to style. Button. Are we still in button? Right, okay. Similar thing. And we can give it a border radius. I put in crazy 50. And then we need to probably make sure. Let's make it a little bit higher. It's not going to change much. I have to increase the height to get it to go to a circle. Hmm. And then... Again, if you click on it, it can do that. Still, you may not be impressed, but this is where things get interesting with the next option. Go back to Toggler, click on Poster. And now you can choose an image. So for example, here I have my spices and my curries. And I can even choose my poster height as I please. Here you can set it, it should be large. And then, if I click on the image, up pops the other one, the light box image. So, you have one that is presented and a different one that pops up. And this is what makes this light box a really interesting feature. And again, if you look at the fact that it's a button and you have all those things, it becomes a really powerful, powerful tool. Let's go have a look at maybe something like YouTube and bring in a video so that we can have a look at that. I'm just going to choose one over here from the Websites for Beginners channel. Let's grab this one here, panel slider, 
pause it. Who wants to hear my voice? Copy it and let's go back here. Click on it. Well, I have to, if I click on it, okay, it did open over here. Go back to layout, image, let's say YouTube. And now control all control V. When I click on it now, bum, ba, da, it opens, right? Magnificent. And let's look at what additional options. Video autoplay is yes. And then you can also choose the light box animation, how it presents. Let's go back and we put it on scale. Okay, for the video, that's not going to be much of an effect. Click on it one more time. Let's see what else we can do. We can have Vimeo and we can have Google Map. And then for Google Map, you have to use a Google Map embed URL. Good. And this is why I call this a light box on stereos, because it is a really great pop-up feature in a way, but done in a light box. And especially the fact that it allows you to have the videos to pop up. So remember, whenever you have that kind of option where you want to maybe put many videos on your site or many images, then you can just have this click and the light box feature will pop up. And even with an image, can translate into a map. There you go. Let's have a look at the few examples from the bdthemes.net website. If you want to know more about the element pack, please follow the link below. Here is an image example, very similar. This is a normal one. For this kind of style, you have to copy the image twice in both the layout and in the toggle. Here's a video example. We did that before. Good. Google map example, and it will give you the big Google map and then icon examples. So if I were to click here on Vimeo, it should open a Vimeo video here for me. Nice, relaxing. We can sit and watch the ocean. And then button example, open light box. And another styling, open light box. Very nice. Did you wear out your leather shoes while watching this? Yeah, but a very, very good add-on for your website, especially if you have things to display that you want to display in a light box. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners.